Hello everyone, Nick of Street Pass Princeton here, and if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be having a little E3 wrap up, so I'll be telling you everything I did on my trip to California. So first off, I want to give some special shout outs to Abdallah, Triforce, I also want to give out a shout out to Mr. Morrison, Ryan Morrison, he is the leader slash I think CEO of Island Officials. And that's how we got in. Abdallah, thank you so much for coming. Triforce, thank you so much for, uh, you know, for coming as well. Uh, also, I want to thank Rinaldi Gomez from New York City for coming as well. And one more thing I wanted to say before I dive in is that uh, I know I posted a picture of Isabel, Tom Nook, and KK Slider. Unfortunately, only doll that we have is going to be Isabel, and that's being donated by Matt Cradleman, I believe. Let me know, Matt, if I got your name wrong. I'm trying to pronounce it correctly, but anyway, Matt is bringing us the Isabel doll. Unfortunately, he's not. He doesn't have the other two for us, but we are getting the Isabel doll, and there are plenty more prizes on the way. I'm sorry for the misinformation, but uh, more on that later. Um, also, if you're wondering about Tomodachi Life, I will be making those episodes very shortly. I know I've been very busy with E3 in California, but I just want to get back, make this video, put it up as fast as possible, and then from there, you know, get everything done as fast as possible. So I've got lots of, lots of videos planned. Anyway, so down to E3. Yeah, I came, uh, I believe, on Saturday. I did. I spent it with my friend Tristan, who is from college. I know him. I known him since freshman year of college back in 2006. Very good friend of mine. I stayed at his place, um, and unfortunately, I got a small little cold. So most of the trip, I'm I'm talking like this right now. Um, after that Sunday, I went to uh, Redondo Beach Inn, stayed there pretty much most of the day. Hung out with Rinaldi, uh, got our badges. I think Sunday, no Monday, we got our badges. Anyway, so Sunday, yeah, that's over. Then Monday came, met with Triforce. We had really nice sushi. Um, we talked with one of the people from Golan Harris. Can't talk too much about that, but it was a great time. Really enjoyed it. Um, after that, we got some of our badges. Then we got back to the hotel room. And late at night, we met with Abdallah. Uh, always awesome to hang out with Abdallah. Um, and then after that, uh, we just went to sleep and then woke up the next day and went to E3. Uh, I, Abdallah introduced me to one of his friends the next day, which was on Tuesday, which was Yoshiller. That was great. I also met Yoshiller's friend. I can't remember what his name is, but Yoshiller is awesome. Um, I also introduced Abdallah to Morrison, who is the person who helped us get into E3. That was on the third day. So anyway, I'm going ahead of myself. So first day, we played... Um, we played Brawl, I'm not Brawl, sorry, what am I thinking? We played Smash Brothers on the Wii U and the 3DS. Definitely will say the Wii U one is much better than the one on the 3DS. But that being said, the 3DS one is pretty good. Uh, the problem I have with the 3DS was getting used to the controls. It wasn't as natural to play with as the um, Wii U version. Uh, I should show you some of my stuff. So this is my E3 badge, which was pretty cool. It got the, it has the, uh, really awesome lanyard, which is cool. Also, if you won any of your matches, you get this really awesome Smash Brothers shirt. Very cool. That's the front side, that's the back side. And then if you went on like the stage where you played on the big main screen, you could get this awesome medal, which I'll be saving for a future event, which is really cool. So, I believe October is the release of the 3DS one, so, we will have that event probably pegged out in July, so be sure to keep us uh, posted. Uh, well, what I mean is be sure to stay tuned to our Facebook wall for more information on that. And be sure to check out our channel, you know, all updates are through there as well. Anyway, so moving forward, so first day, we played a lot of games, played a lot with Abdallah as well. We played Yoshi Woolly World together. That was fun. You can check that on his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below, but we played together. Also, if you notice, we played Just Dance 2015, and we played What Does the Fox Say? Uh, if you notice in the video, the guy, like, right next to me is, like, completely, like, saying the lyrics, and it's completely funny, too. He's like, What Does the Fox Say? It's, it's pretty funny. Abdallah was a trooper. He danced with me. 
Um, and I really appreciate it. That was just uh, something that I would like to take away with, you know. I mean, the cool stuff that I got, awesome, but uh, having the memories with Abdallah, Rinaldi, and Triforce really made the E3 experience much, much better. Um, I also got to room with Abdallah as well, and Triforce and Rinaldi. That was also really cool. Anyway, so day one ended. We Well, day one of E3 ended. We went to the Invitational, had a great time, did the little voting booklet thing. Um, Rinaldi got his. I got mine. Abdallah got his. Abdallah actually sat in the front. Um, we were able, He was able to get uh, basically a thor- higher authority seating, which was cool. I sat in the back. But still very cool overall. Still had a great time. Uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, who won the Invitational? I can't remember. I think it was the person playing uh, Zero Suit Samus. So let me know in the comments below about that. Okay, so moving on. So day one ended. Great. Loved it. Everything about it was fantastic. So sensory overload, everything was fantastic. Day two, you're kind of like, mm, I've seen everything of Nintendo's. So I did walk around, I saw the other stuff, but I couldn't find anything Dance Central related, so I pretty much just like u turned back to Nintendo and uh, played more there. I think that day Abdallah played Hyrule Warriors, if I'm correct. He also got a shout out with Charles Martinet. Charles Martinet is really super awesome. Oh, on the first day, I also got pictures with Bill, uh, Bill Trinan, and I got a picture with Reggie fils and he had his, like, uh, mech glasses, which was pretty cool. Abdal has that. Uh, he's going to end up sending that back soon, which is cool. Uh, day two, we did a lot of, like, business stuff. Like, we talked with Prima Guide. We talked with people from Logitech. We talked with the people that did, like, the game cases and stuff, which was really cool. Um, very cool stuff. Let's see, what else? We played more games. Uh, I'm not sure if it was the second or third day, but we played this game, Splatoon, which you probably saw what it was. It was like the list squid, squids with ink. Kind of looked like bloopers. When I saw the game, I thought it reminded me of Deblob, which was weird, but uh, the whole shooting thing kind of comes off like a mix of Deblob and uh, Call of Duty. So I'm very interested to see what they're going to do for the single player aspect. The multiplayer aspect looks like a lot of fun, especially for, like, for a LAN party. I will say, uh, depending on when the game is released, we'll definitely try to... My phone. Uh, we'll definitely try to host an event for that, depending on if we have TVs, setups, everything. So it's going to require a lot of Wii U's, a lot of controller setups. So uh, it's not going to be easy, but we'll try our best with that. So... Uh, we'll just have to wait and see on Splatoon. Uh, moving forward, so day two was pretty good. Got a lot of business stuff done. Uh, day three came along. I went with Rinaldi to Skylanders. Got a really cool Skylanders toy. I don't have it on me, but it was like one of the traps. Abdallah went with Triforce, and they met Alexei Pashetnov, who is the creator of Tetris. Uh, I'm kind of upset because I wanted to meet him. He was He's a pretty cool guy. I've seen the icon stuff. Um... Born and raised in Russia, really cool guy, very awesome to hang out with, um, and I believe they had a video, uh, Abdal had a video with Triforce where they were like making a Tetris, which was also pretty cool. Uh, you can check that out. I think Abdal is going to be uploading that on his channel soon. Don't know if he, I don't think he has it up currently. So yeah, day three came to an end eventually, and Abdal was very happy that I invited him and was able to get more sin help. Uh, Morrison to help him get in as well. Rinaldi was like not thanking me. Well, actually, he was thanking me so much. He was really happy to come. I was glad that Rinaldi came. Uh, let's see what else happened. So yeah, day three ended, and then we got to pretty much the after party uh, of E3. Well, not really much of an after party. Uh, we went to a different hotel, one that didn't have working internet. So checked in, checked out really quickly. Uh, internet was working for the person at the front desk, not for us. Then we went to another hotel. Uh, it was kind of creepy. The hotel we went after that reminded me something from my childhood where it looked like just very disturbing. Let's just leave it at that. It was kind of creepy. I couldn't sleep at night. Uh, Abdal kept asking me why I couldn't sleep. I was just like, it's just, it's just what it is. So then after that, uh, after that day, I think it was Saturday. I ended up saying goodbye to Abdallah and Triforce. Uh, I kind of cried, I'm not going to lie. I 
was upset that he had to leave because I really had one of the best like vacations ever and it's it's kind of thanks to Abdallah I I can't say it enough Abdallah like really really was happy that you came um, I really hope that we can do more conventions together I go to more convent you know what I mean like we can go to more conventions together uh, it just mean a lot to me. Let me show you more stuff I got uh, at E3. This is kind of like, this is stuff that you put on your buttons if you have a button shirt. So I got a bullet bill. I got a whole bunch of these. They'll be giving away Mario Kart 8. I got a fire flower. I got all these bloopers. I got one extra p pink one. And I got a, a brown one. And yeah, I showed you fire flower. I got an extra fire flower too, which I'll probably wait for Mario Kart 8. So anyway, um, what am I thinking of? Oh yeah, so I said my goodbyes to Abdallah. I, after that, I went to San Diego, and I met my twin brother, who I haven't seen in over 10 months, and he looks a lot better. He used to be really, like, big, and he's taking much better care of himself. I'm happy about that. Let's see, what did we do? We went to Little Felipe's, which is, like, a restaurant in uh, Little Italy, and I was just like, man, Abdallah would really like this place, minus the pizza that had pork on it, because he doesn't eat pork. So, the pizza was great, the ensalada was great, I loved everything about it. Oh yeah, the ensalada had pork too. <laughs> okay, that would be a little tough, but you know what? I think there's some non, you know, there's non pork items on that menu. I remember seeing that. So, but yeah, I'll definitely keep in mind maybe San Diego Comic Con next year maybe? This year probably not doable, but anyway, I'm getting my head of myself. Um, so after that, after that restaurant, went to sleep, went to a nice breakfast place, can't remember the name. Uh, after that, went to San Diego, I forgot, Street Pass San Diego, which I should say, uh, Street Pass San Diego held a Street Pass event, and so did Street Pass Los Angeles. And out of the two, and I'm giving my honest opinion, not trying to be mean to anyone, I would say overall, Street Pass San Diego hosted the better event. Everything about San Diego just worked great. Um, I did have some problems trying to find the event, but I did go to the front desk and ask where they were located, and they helped me out greatly. And uh, David, who's one of the admins there, was very nice. I invited Adam, who was from San Diego. Uh, I want to help all the Street Pass groups that I can, of course. And I was glad to talk with the people from Street Pass San Diego. They are a great bunch of people. I gave them Bradley to fall AR cards. I gave uh, Los Angeles Bradley default AR cards as well. I had, an, I had a much better time at the San Diego event than at the LA. I really wish I could have taken Abdallah to the San Diego one. Had an awesome time. And also, Street Pass San Diego is planning on having a Comic-Con panel at, at San Diego Comic-Con, which is awesome. I wish I could have came, but uh, who knows. Maybe I'll be able to give them stuff, so we're ironing out the details on that. Uh, it's kind of up in the air, so we won't know if it's possible, but uh, if I get the okay, uh, Street Pass San Diego, I'll be shooting you some uh, perler beads your way for your event. Anyway, that day it ended uh, Monday, which was about two days ago from this video. Uh, my brother and I went to the San Diego Zoo. I bought some really awesome shirts for my nieces, bought a hat for my nephew, got this really cool book with all the animals in it for my parents, which was awesome saw this giraffe giving birth and uh, I really like it when you're able to see like a natural born birth of an animal. It's just, it's weird, but it's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. It's, it's, it's quite humbling actually. So very hard to describe, but if you uh, see it, it can be a little gross, I will warn you, but I, I enjoyed uh, watching it. The baby was adorable, so. And the way like the mother and, and the child interaction was beautiful. Um, saw a whole bunch of other animals, polar bears. We missed the pandas because we were on the bus ride most of the time. Oh, also I believe San Diego Zoo was actually featured in Anchorman, which was pretty cool. Uh, another great place that Abdallah should definitely go to if we ever get the chance of going to San Diego. That was cool. And uh, that was pretty much mostly my trip. After that Monday, uh, I went to this Mexican place called Casa del Guadalajara, I believe, 
and the chips tacos were pretty salt, uh, salty, like not salty, but spicy, and it kept kicking in the back of my throat, which wasn't pleasant, but I did have a pretty good dinner with the picadillos, like the little tacos, and turkey, that I really enjoyed, but I was like full, I couldn't eat anymore after that. I was tempted on getting some Trace Leches cake, but after that I was like, nah, I'm not a really big dessert person, so. Anyway, that was pretty much, yeah, after the zoo and Casa del Guadalajara, that was it. I, I had a really blast of a time. I was really glad. Uh, I can't thank Abdal enough for coming, and I hope he will accompany me on many more E3s, pending if they choose to change the venue of E3. I believe that, uh, what was it, like ESA has a limited thing. I read it on Nintendo Enthusiast. Those guys rock. So I believe they said something about the lines that they'll be changing the venue. 2015, I believe, is going to be in L.A., so I'll be there again. I really love California. It's a great state. Uh, the weather's always beautiful. The weather's, you know, never rains practically, minus the earthquakes. But other than that, fantastic state. Loved it. And the food is, is fantastic, too. So really had a great time in L.A. Can't say more than enough. Uh, mm. Just a quick wrap-up. So... I'm just going to tell you guys that Tomodachi Life is going to be coming soon. Be patient. I know you guys want more episodes, but you're going to have to take some time. Uh, Rinaldi, also, thank you for coming. Triforce, also want to give you a shout out. Thank you for coming as well. Mr. Uh, sorry, why do I keep going, Mr. Ryan Morrison, I really can't thank you enough uh, You know, for coming from my panel back in 2013. Meaning you, you are an awesome person, and uh, I just wish you luck with Island Officials, and I can't thank you enough. Um, that's pretty much it. So I want to thank all of you for watching. I know it was a pretty long E3 update video, well, wrap-up video, my trip. We have Animal Crossing New Leaf coming up in a new day, in a, in a few next few days. Um, I have a special update on the event, which will involve a lot of you. And when I mean a lot of you, I mean people that are not even in the New Jersey area. So stay tuned for that video because it's very important. We will re be rebuilding a special friend's town. And if you couldn't guess who this friend is, I've been saying his name pretty much most of the time in this video. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And this is Nick of Street Pass Princeton signing out. See you guys later. Bye.